hard it is to keep these all tucked in under my hair Ugh, all year until October comes around and I could just ah, let them loose. So this is what we're doing. This is my Halloween special. Is it a special? No, it's just a thing. Um, I'm going to, I've got these like, uh, you know, Spirit Halloween or Cheap Halloween store horns that I absolutely love. I love the shape. I love how they go on. And they were just red. So I decided to zhuzh it up a little bit. Give it a little zhuzh. Uh, and it's really simple, it's really easy. It's just a simple little painting technique. And let's get, to, let's, I'm gonna show that to you now. So first off, what I wanted to do was kind of scratch up the surface a little bit. My original idea was to actually really do some deep gouges, but the material of the horns um, is kind of thin. So I didn't wanna, you know, by chance kind of poke a hole through it or, or go too far and you know it'll get weird so I decided against it but you still have to sort of scuff up the surface somehow so I did kind of still do that um, just so that it would accept the paint a bit better then I mixed up a sort of mix of white with just a tiny bit of yellow to give me that kind of bone kind of color and then kind of darkened it up as I went along there is a v v air person, a leaf blower person outside. Let's try to get through it. I'm doing this all with brush, but I'm using it to my advantage. Long, even strokes down the whole sort of side of it and leaving that kind of, uh, you know, following the, the, the shape of the horns um, and using the brush strokes to my advantage. Now, there, there isn't that much sort of brush stroking. There isn't that much stroking going on. I don't know why I did that. There isn't that much stroking going on. Oh, God. Uh, demonetized. <laughs> I'm not monetized. <laughs> um, I used it to my advantage to kind of create some texture since I wasn't going to be able to do any texture on it. Then I did a little bit of, um, a little bit on the tips here and I did sort of like a little gradient. I did a, a, a black right at the tip, then a brown and then a lighter brown and then kind of dragged my brush to sort of kind of blend it on in. So I did a basic sort of weathering pass, kind of focusing on the bottom bit of the horns. Uh, but then up through, adding a bit of, you know, so it sort of adds dimension and shadow and it doesn't make them look quite so stark. Next up, what I did was uh, just do some basic weathering. Um, you know, just getting a really dark and watery sort of brown and just kind of dirtying it up. Then I took a Morphe 62118987 liner brush um, to... <laughs> that's, just to do the sort of fissures and stuff. Wow, I gotta finish this video. Just to do the sort of fissures and stuff. And then at the very end, I just hit it with two coats of clear gloss uh, spray paint. Gloss clear spray. That's pretty much it. That is my little Halloween hack. You can get something that's relatively cheap and make it your own to sort of look a bit more things. This is perfect for work. And this is what I'm gonna be wearing to work. Oh, I feel so good to get my horns out. This is the only time of year that I can. Yes, that's pretty much it. Roll the thing. Oh, <laughs>